All right, what's up guys? We are back and today we're gonna get into a full-blown office tour. I've been waiting for a very long time to do this until I got everything set up. It's not 100% complete yet, but like it's getting there. And I don't know, everybody's been asking me, office tour, we need to see the office, all the shoes, blah, 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 blah. So today, that is exactly what we're gonna do after I clean up a little bit. And I have to take all of my Black Friday orders to the post office, so you guys are gonna come with me to that. And if you guys are watching, the Black Friday deals are still going right now. I'm doing 50% off all of my merch. 50% off, not 15. And so today, we're gonna go drop off all of these orders that were all hand packaged by me. Every single t-shirt that is purchased on my website gets packed up by me in this basement. And check this out. We got our first snow in Kansas City. Come on now. I'm not gonna show you the house because I don't want people pulling up here. I'm excited to show you guys the uh, like the sneaker room now because I've lived in an apartment for the past couple years and I've never had the opportunity to like make like a cool like office sneaker room like that. But I don't own a house, I'm renting. So everything in there is temporary for, for now. But I'm super stoked. I got to like, I have like a room in the basement that I just completely decked out. It kind of looked like a cave when we started, but you guys will see it. Also, I wanted to come on here and say in January, I will be at SneakerCon Miami or Fort Lauderdale, whichever one it is. Also, I think I'm gonna be in Seattle and I think the other one was Philly. So Miami, Seattle, and Philly, I will be at all of those sneaker cons. So those are coming up within the next couple months. So if you're going to any of those, come by, say what's up. Quick little cheat code if you live in the city. If you turn your flashers on, you can literally park anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in a no parking zone or anything. You turn your flashers on, you can park anywhere. Oh, all right, so I had to drop Alex off or Gigamus. I had to drop him off and I got about 30 minutes until I pick him back up. So I'm just gonna go to a sneaker store that's right around the corner see what they got and maybe cop some, maybe not. I don't really know yet, but I've been buying way too many shoes, dude. I, I, I've been spending way too much money on shoes, but like sometimes when there's deals, you just gotta get them, you know? Ooh. I ain't even seen these in person. These are, these are pretty far. I don't know why. Dude, check this out. I used to love this game. I'm really looking for a pair of Nike Vomeros. I've been seeing everybody wearing them and I actually, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of like New Balances or running shoes, stuff like that. But I want a pair of Nike Vomeros, try them out. I also wanted to make a video on them too, like the Vomeros and like a pair of like New Balances. I'm one of the biggest haters of New Balances. I don't I don't really get the hype. I'm, I'm more of a Jordan guy, but I think it'd be cool to make a video document wearing New Balances every day for like a week and then like make a video on them and see why people like them so much. I think that'd be really cool. I might give that a shot. All right, so we are back home, back ready for this office tour. I think it's kind of underwhelming, but it's also kind of cool. So to give a little backstory, when we first moved into this house, this was like the, the designated office space for me was down here. And honestly, I didn't like it. It looked like a cave. I don't like the walls. I don't like any of this stuff, but I couldn't really change it because like I said, before we're renting, we're not, we don't own the property. So I can't just like make new walls and all kinds of stuff because I, I don't own the house. You know, I'm renting, but we're trying to buy a house sometime in the next couple years. That's one of my goals. But anyway, I had to make the best of what I had and I think it turned out pretty cool. And I was also waiting to do this until uh, I just actually finished a big campaign with Ikea. So I got a whole bunch of new like Ikea stuff like for decoration and stuff like that. So I was waiting until after I did that to do the office tour because I have a lot more cool stuff now. So first off, we have all of my merch or at least what's left of my merch. There was a whole lot more of this, but this is all we have left and when it's gone, it's gone. So if you guys wanna click the link in the bio and cop some, it's gonna be gone soon. There's not a whole lot left, so that's that. Anyway, we have all of my hats up here. We have my subscriber plaque. I'm so thankful for this right here. I love this. This actually came out of a Jordan 5 box, which is kind of crazy, but whatever, I ended up framing it. And then we have a replica over here of the painting that I actually gave away. So if you guys have been following me for a minute, this, we actually did a painting raffle. Me and one of my good friends, he's an actual painter, he's an artist and he ended up making this. This is a reprint, but he ended up making that and we sold raffle tickets for $1 a piece and we took all of the money and took it to a children's hospital in Kansas City. We went to the cancer unit. 
We got a whole bunch of these uh, kids that stayed at the hospital. We got wish lists and we went and literally took a few thousand dollars and went and made a bunch of kids days. So this kind of means a lot to me, even though it's a reprint, I think it's really, really cool. It just kind of reminds me of something cool that I've done, you know? And then you guys know I wear a bunch of hats. So I have a whole bunch of hats and it's not even, this is not even like all of them. Like I also have my room that I like sleep in upstairs and that has a whole bunch more of my stuff. This is just all the stuff that's in my office. I have a whole bunch of cereal boxes, Supreme, Lil Yachty, Reese's Puffs, Travis. Everybody used to go crazy for all those, but they're whatever. And then we have two of my racks right here. I don't have enough room in my closet. So I had to bring a whole bunch more of my clothes down here. I also wanted to show you guys too. I have a collection of a whole bunch of old Kanye t-shirts. I don't know if you guys have saw the video, but I just posted it yesterday as the day I'm filming this. But I finally got my Yeezy ones done. I got them resold. This took forever to do, but these are finally wearable again. Can you lick the bottom? Can I lick the bottom? I don't want to. No, I'm not doing it. I debated it, but I'm not doing it. So I have a whole bunch of these. I have the college dropout tee from what, 2004, 2005? Yeah, 2004. Whenever I wear these t-shirts, people are always like, oh, where'd you get the shirt? And then somebody will respond to them and be like, yo, we got it off Panda Buy or something. No, I definitely didn't. These are all like original t-shirts. Yes, you can go out and buy the fake, the Panda Buy ones or whatever, but I like collecting the original ones. I think they're a lot cooler. I have the late registration tee right here as well from the album, the Touch the Sky tour 2005 i like this this is like my version of like vintage i think this stuff is way cooler than like a lot of vintage stuff and i know it's gonna make some people mad but like i didn't grow up in the 80s and the 90s so this is like my my vintage here and then we got this gold digger t-shirt i just got this this one's gas this is also from late registration album and then we have the takashi Murakami um uh graduation tee as well so i collect a lot of these i think they're super cool i have like the pablo one and stuff like that too but that one's not as cool but yeah when i'm filming i usually just throw something on from down here just so i can change my outfit because a lot of the times when i film i film multiple videos in one day so i put different outfits on so it doesn't look like i'm wearing the same outfit every day for like a week because i know a lot of people would call me out but anyway so we have my glass case right here with all of my like high dollar stuff we have the off-whites the 1985 yeezy one and the cooked off-white fours. I just finished uh, dyeing these off-white Prestos I'm gonna show you guys in a sec. So I have this dye and stuff here. Yeah, this is like where I film all of my stuff right here. I turn this big dog light on right here and I usually will throw my camera on this chair and I'll stand in front of there and I just, I film all my videos. So that's, this is it. This is like behind the scenes right here. I also just recently installed these lights too, which I think are so cool. I think they changed the look of this place a lot. They're kind of like drooping down because I quite frankly have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to putting this stuff up. So they uh, fall down every now and then, but I'm not like an interior design person. I don't really know what I'm doing, but they look cool. For 150 bucks, I think they were worth it. And when it comes to the ceiling, whenever I would film, it looks like there's just no ceiling. Like whenever I was like in front of the camera, it just looks like there's no ceiling at all. So I thought this was pretty cool. And my videos used to be really dark. So now that I have this, it's not really dark anymore. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix those pretty soon. But until then, we'll wait. We have another pair of shoes over here that I've been trying to get resold as well. These are the Mist Blue Jordan 4s. They're completely separating. These are from what, 2006? So I'm trying to get these fixed too. Since for whatever reason, Nike won't bring those back. I don't know why. Me and Big Al behind the camera. We both, he had a pair, doesn't have them anymore, but I love this shoe and I can't wait for it to retro. These are retroing though. I don't know. A lot of the times when they retro Jordan 4s, it just, it doesn't hit the same. The new shape is not there. The leather's usually trash. Like, I don't know. To me, these are like way better than the new pair, but that's just me. Same thing with the breads. The leather breads don't come for me, but I, I don't like them. I hate them. I don't like them. This is a bread. Yeah, this is my sneaker wall right here. A lot of people always ask me, where are the shelves from? Where are the shelves from? They're from Ikea. They are Ikea lack shelves. They're actually bookshelves. They're meant to go like sideways and have books in between the grooves, but I don't read books. I don't do that. I collect sneakers. So I always liked these because I've lived in an apartment for the past three years. And with an apartment, you can't just drill like screws into the wall. That's why I chose these was because they look cool and you do not have to drill them into the wall. But in my new spot, the floors are very uneven. So these things are like really, really wobbly and really sketchy. So I got to get that fixed or figured out or something. But for the time being, they're staying up. So I'm leaving them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right. And then we have all my girlfriend's shoes. She, uh, some of these are mine. Like these are mine. But dude, check how cooked these are, dude. 
These are bad. I got a motorcycle and these are my like motorcycle riding shoes. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is all my girlfriend's shoes. She has some heat too, so don't get it twisted. And I actually do have a girlfriend. A lot of people are like, think that I'm like this weird nerd that like lives in my sneaker room in the basement with no girlfriend. Uh, I do have a girlfriend and she likes shoes too. So that's one thing. Then we have all my boxes. Uh, some of these have shoes in them. Some of them don't. Um, a lot of them are buried. I also just finished making a video about a whole bunch of stuff that I bought on the TikTok shop. If you guys have seen that on like TikTok or Instagram, I bought like a thousand dollars worth of stuff on the TikTok shop just to review it. So I have a bunch of these like really, really crappy, like $8 shoes from the TikTok shop that are just, dude, they're terrible. Like absolutely terrible. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I'll probably go give them to somebody for free. Oh dude, we got these still? Still got Way of Wades in here, brand new. All right, and then we have my other shelf right here. This is uh, also from Ikea. So I just recently got this put up, my Funko Pops. A whole bunch of Kizos. If you guys know Jake Polino, the guy that uh, runs the Kizos, he's one of my good friends. So I have like all of the Kizos, really. These are the off-white Prestos that I had the, the dye for. I don't know, I think they're cool, but like, I don't know. But they were fake, so I ended up just dying them. I don't really care since they're fake, but they're pretty cool, I guess. These are a banger. I dyed these myself, and they actually came out pretty good. <laughs> and then we got the TikTok shop $14 big red boots right here. These are horrendous. They don't they don't even begin to fit, like at all. I'm a, I, I ordered a size 11. Those are like a seven or an eight, but it is what it is. Then we got my little office desk over here. This is where I edit everything. This is where I print my labels for my merch do all that kind of stuff. A lot of people don't understand that the easiest part is like filming the video and then it's like four hours of editing for like one TikTok. So I will sit here for like three or four hours and edit everything after I filmed in like two minutes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like this is this is the off. Oh, and the same guy that made the Virgil painting that we gave away, he actually made this for me too. So this is really cool. And I requested that he make them of 1985s and that was before I even got them. So I like kind of manifested it a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like a whole office tour. I mean, it's kind of underwhelming, but it looks cool. Like visually it looks cool for like videos and stuff. So that was kind of my objective. It's kind of like a little, like a set, like an acting set kind of. But in, in real life, it's really janky. Like the lights <laughs> are loose. Like the shelves barely stand up. It's really janky, but it looks cool on camera. So that's that's really all that matters because my whole life is on camera at this point. Should we bust out a kickflip down here? Why? <laughs> Why? If I try to jump, I'm gonna hit my head. This is like MTV Cribs, you know? <laughs> this will end off the video. All right, ready? Ooh. All right, that's about as good as we're gonna get. All right, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys liked it, click the like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. Uh, get the merch before it's gone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace!